Nola Gent here at the Jump and Go Coffee Roasters and Tasting Room. Good stuff in here. Yeah. Ha-ha. Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our USA Coffee Vlog, we are visiting Jump and Go Coffee Roasters and Tasting Room, where they offer an espresso bar, mead, wine, and gifts, along with a million dollar view. Jump and Goat also offers a beer selection along with mead from Southern Origin Meadery, along with one of the most amazing views of any coffee shop in the area. Jump and Goat is located in Cleveland, Georgia at 2404 Helen Highway, which is about 8 hours and 548 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. This location is near Helen, Georgia, which is noted for being a recreation of a Bavarian town that is famous for their long-running Oktoberfest celebration. Jump and Go Coffee Roasters and Tasting Room is a special place, and this is a unique spot to enjoy your coffee, wine, meat, and beer, along with this fantastic view here. They also offer live music here, and it's quite a popular location in the area. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So it's a nice little space in here with quite a lot of items that you can check out. So there's all manner of things in here, all sorts of bric-a-brac and all kinds of things that would make good gifts. And most importantly, plenty of coffee, mead, beer, and assorted other items that can certainly wet your whistle. But we got a little Halloween guy over here. It looks like he's dying to try the coffee. Now, if you enjoy spooky Halloween things like this and horror movies, and rock and roll themed stuff, you really should check out Dead Sled Coffee. And I've got a 20% discount code for you, NOLA, N-O-L-A. If you want to go to their website, deadsledcoffee.com, and check out some of the fantastic horror movie and rock and roll themed coffee options they have. Now, getting back to Jumpin' Goat Coffee Roasters, they have quite a nice selection of many different coffees you can choose from along with plenty of other options here. As they tell us on this chalkboard, welcome to our view, and they offer a selection of food. They have music bingo returns and a Halloween event with a dog costume contest and live music every Saturday. Under food, they offer quiches with a veggie, tomato, spinach, cheddar, onion, basil, or ham, cheddar, and broccoli. They have cookies with chocolate chip, peanut butter, sea salt with toffee, and oatmeal cranberry with white chocolate and then brownies with chocolate chips, cream cheese, and marshmallow. They also have a selection of old school bottled soft drinks. And then we're also gonna go check out their coffee roasting room because hey, it is a coffee roaster, so why not check this out? Because this is a really cool thing to see. So here is their main coffee roasting area. So large bags of coffee beans, and here's the coffee roaster right here. It's really a fascinating process how they do it. They have a beer menu here with Michelob Ultra, Stella Artois, Dos Equis Amber, Dos Equis, and Shock Top. They also have a special here that if you buy three bottles of mead, you get a free tasting flight of six different meads, which is a $12 value. So their menu of meads from Southern Origin Meadery included green apple sizer, color mead that they were sold out of, wildflower mead, red apple sizer that they were sold out of, peach mead that they were sold out of, watermelon mead, legacy red, cherry berry that they were also sold out of, and black currant mead. They also had a selection of white wines with Curahi Pinot Grigio, Curahi Miss Lily, Green Apple, then Red Wines with Curahee Red, Curahee Merlot, and Cabernet Sauvignon. Then we have the Mead Cocktails menu with Wild Goat Lemonade, Jolly Rancher, Loaded Hibiscus Lemonade, Peach Bellini, an Old Fashioned, Goat by the Beach, a Peach Mead Slushy, and Black Currant Mead Slushy. Mead, let's see if I survive it. Prost. Crisp and refreshing. Or need a roast. From my mead tasting, I decided to purchase the wildflower mead. 
drawing inspiration from the land our ancestors farmed, Blue Haven proudly presents Southern Origin Meadery. We offer you a floral mead that drinks like the finest of wines and pairs well with just about anything. With every sip, we seek to take you back to simpler days. It's definitely something to buzz about. Honey wine is best served lightly chilled, but watch out, it will sting you. So the total for one bottle of mead was $36.33. Now let's check out the Jump and Goat drink menu for caffeinated beverages. We have drink with gourmet cocoa, add marshmallows, tea, hot and iced, chai, chai tea latte, extras, flavor shots, special dairy, almond and oat, shot of espresso, coffee, brewed, decaf, cold brew, artisan, sweet cream van, Vietnamese, espresso, shot in the dark, Americano, double, single, cafe latte, flavored latte, cafe cappuccino. On the next page, we have signature handcrafted lattes with glamping, two pumps of marshmallow, two pumps of white mocha, Heath Par, two pumps of mocha, two pumps of English toffee, Cinderella, two pumps of pumpkin, two pumps of white mocha, Ivory Snow, two pumps of vanilla, two pumps of hazelnut, Newspaper, 1.5 pumps of white mocha, 1.5 pumps of mocha, one pump of raspberry, Truffle Pleasure, two pumps of mocha, two pumps of caramel, one pump of hazelnut. Rolo, two pumps of mocha, two pumps of caramel, Fallujah, one pump of pumpkin, one pump of white mocha, one pump of chai, and you can get a dash of allspice. Okay, I got my caffeinated beverage and a snack, and we're gonna head on out to the outdoor area over here and take a look at some of these other areas they have. So you've got this beautiful view right here with some tables and chairs. And then, of course, they've got this little covered patio area that's got windows that are open, but you still get a little bit of a roof and a little bit of protection from any wind if you're inside here. So I decided to come check this area out and enjoy the tables in here. So for a snack, I got this oatmeal cranberry white chocolate cookie from Sweet Things on the Square in Cleveland, Georgia. For my caffeinated beverage, I got a black coffee with a dash of whole milk on top. I was a little sad they didn't have a ceramic coffee cup instead of this paper coffee cup because, hey, I like ceramic coffee cups better. Okay, so some decent coffee. Now we're going to dig into this cookie here. Ooh, it's a good size and, uh, hmm. Okay, it's got some nice flavors. The uh, white chocolate chips certainly give it a little extra special texture and flavor. So this is a pretty decent oatmeal cookie and a pretty good size one. So this certainly is a bit of a larger snack, I'd say. So for the overall experience, it's a pretty decent cookie and goes pretty well with my coffee overall. So I definitely have had some better oatmeal cookies in my time. Uh, this is a pretty decent oatmeal cookie though. So I definitely have had a lot of worse oatmeal cookies. It's not overly hard. It's not too crunchy. There's a nice little uh, bit of chewiness in it, a little bit of moisture in it. So it's not just one of those totally dry, crumbly kinds of cookies. So it certainly is a nicer oatmeal cookie. Uh, I'd probably give it about a uh, six on a scale of one to 10. And it's uh, certainly uh, not being any problem at all to eat. It's not crumbling and falling apart. So it's got good structural integrity. And the fact that it's holding together so well with all the different components is a good thing indeed. So the overall construction of it is pretty darn nice. You get a decent sprinkling of all the different ingredients in there. The white chocolate chips are probably the most prevalent flavor I get other than the cookie flavor when I bite into it. So, just like I've totally destroyed this cookie, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, comment below. Let me know what you thought about this oatmeal cookie. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So after finishing my cookie, I went to go enjoy some of this beautiful view and just take a gander at all the wonder of everything. And I went and paid attention to some of these things like this fountain that were outside. And then I finally finished my coffee, so just like I totally destroyed this coffee, just go ahead and destroy that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. So the total for my coffee and the oatmeal cookie was $9.32 with tip.
So, thanks so much to everybody at Jump and Go Coffee Roasters and Tasting Room for a wonderfully amazing, beautiful view and for all the many different things that you could choose and select from, all the way from coffee to beer to wine to mead. It's quite a great selection of fun things out here. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Knowledge Jet channel, especially to my Patreons. If you would so kindly, just go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it. Then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolajet here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.